Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Uh, after my uh, fuck up, I will put it eloquently, where I didn't, I didn't save, I loaded. Uh, so I've caught back, got the jewel, didn't get injured in the process, so I've actually got more health now, and more bullets as well. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Wait. No, I haven't been here yet, have I? No, this is all new. So let's get exploring, shall we? Huh. Well, I guess this is the star's office. Is there anything here? It's trash. Someone must have searched for desks. So someone's been here. Probably someone from Umbrella. Wow, is that absolutely nothing? Replica of gun? Probably a member of the NRA, okay. Is there really nothing? Oh, that looks important. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. The entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 25th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Okay, so now we know where Chris is. Ooh, and we have the Unicorn Medal. Okay. Cool. Where does the Unicorn Medal go? You think in the med kit? No, okay, it would appear that that is all. Yep, okay, that's appear that that is all in the room. Oh, we have a fax coming through. That's not creepy or anything. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We are continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Incorporated over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a student in university. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Okay. So, watch out for the, uh, Police Chief, because he is not what he is cracked up to be. Okay, let's go through here. It's locked. A spade is etched on the keyhole. Small ventilation stuff. Small. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's right. I think from memory you have to escort someone. Possibly. Um. Well, shit. Where do we go now? Hang on, let's look at... Oh, no, wrong button. That one. Alright, let's look at the map. 
So all that was thus blocked off. So uh, I guess there was a door under the stairs which we can go and explore. But there is a shitload of zombies, so we just have to be cautious. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save. Just to be extra cautious. I'm actually quite surprised I didn't get injured there, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so we have a save room and we have a chest. Cool, perfect. So, let's go and put... Let's put the knife away, let's put the acid rounds away, and let's put the red jewel away. And the unicorn metal away, because I have no idea where that's going to go. Um... And you know what? Let's properly. Is there an ink ribbon anywhere? Probably not. Oh! Operation Report 2! Early morning, 2.30 a.m. on September 28th, zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through that. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Okay, so we need to go to the Western office, which is wrong button again. Oh, hmm, I don't know. So, all the different colors are different locks. So, yeah, okay. So, we just need to find the key wherever the key is. Does this go anywhere? Ooh. Photography lab, okay. I can develop film here, okay, cool. I haven't got any film. Not much of a dark room as well. But, oh well, whatever. Alright, let's try and dodge. Let, I fucked up on the first one. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God fucking damn it. Oh. Not. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Oh, fuck. Alright, uh, let's load. Okay, um. Alright, hang on, let's try and clear some of these zombies out, because it's going to be... No, let's... No, fuck. Quick. just quickly put all the stuff back and then we'll go back to trying to figure out where the fuck we go. Yeah, read, 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 read. Cool. Has been filed. And let's put some stuff away. And now I can put the, the uh, bow gun away. Put that away. Put the knife away. Put, no, don't put that away. Get that back. Okay. Uh, and let's fully reload our gun. 
I haven't got many bullets left. Alright, we might as well pick up the herbs, because I have a feeling I'm going to get a lot of uh, bites taken out of me. So let's go and combine them. Okay, so we have to go through here, which is the situation room again, I believe. If my memory serves me right. No, it's not. Oh, that's right, it goes to the fucking liquor. Oh, fuck! Can... Um... Fucking wrong button again. Okay, so... Okay, so that was the situation room. So, it's almost as if we need to go upstairs if we can. Oh, fuck's sake, stop getting grabbed. Stay away from the windows! Alright, now I need to dodge for fucking liquor. Might as well grab it before I get attacked. Ah, shit, don't run straight up to it. Uh, hang on. Have I gone in that room? Oh, I can't. It's locked. That's right. And fucking run! Run! Okay, so where the fuck is the key? Okay, so hang on, so we got... Let's put the red jewel and the unicorn nail, and let's put that there. So we have a red jewel about the size of a fist, and we have something is engraved on the black. Please guide me to the beautiful maiden who turned into stone as she waited for me. Who the f. What? I don't fucking know. The only thing I can think of... Oh, hang on. Ah! 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 Success! Aha! We have a key! The precinct key, yes. And it's the shape of a spade. Which was the one all the way fucking back. Oh, well, it looks like I'm running past the liquor. Um, that's the one that was upstairs at the end of the end of the uh, corridor. Is that anything? Wait, was that a sound? No, it must have been my imagination. Imagination. Alright, avoid the fucking liquor. Oh, that's not avoiding the fuck. Fuck me, already? Oh, hang on. Oh, shh. I'll fucking cut this. God damn it, I need to press the right fucking button.
Alright, now I'm going to actually not accidentally reload the wrong save state. God fucking damn it, fuck you liquor. Alright, let's go in here. No zombies, because I don't have any bullets. Copy machine. Copy machine, okay. Alright, so there's a ladder that I can push. Ah! There's a crank! That's quite a hefty step ladder. I will take the crank. Right, how's my health? Not good. Oh. Okay. Now let's just avoid the fucking liquor again. Nicely done, nicely done. Hug the wall. No one's grabbing me this time. Okay, so I think it was all the way up here. Hopefully, otherwise, sorry for wasting your time. But I'm fairly certain it was all the way down the end. Or it might have been this one, actually, as well. Oh no, that's right, it doesn't. Yep, no, sorry. There's this one. And then down the end where there was a vent. Oh! Sherry! Help me! Oh shit, I might not have that many bullets. Cool. Okay, so she went under there. Discard. So, from memory, I think this is Sherry Birkin, who is the daughter of one of the lead scientists. Oh, it's Leon! Leon! Claire, you made it! Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? No. Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> Cop you are. Oh yeah, that's sort of girl. Didn't care. Didn't do anything. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Okay. Well, I think we'll leave it there because now we finally met Leon in the police station. So. You go and find uh, so yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more game trip material and some more Resident Evil 2, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jet, signing out.